Hi guys, <coughs> just in a um, different truck tonight, got a, might know from the symbol, it's an MAN. Got this for a, uh, Two days I had it on uh, Friday and uh, the other truck had add blue problems so this is something different now I've never driven one of these before so I'll just give you a bit of a rundown <coughs> um, what they look like what my thoughts on them are I've only driven it one day so I can't give too many thoughts but uh, bunks are quite adequate I don't know if you want to live in it for uh, you know a month at a time but you probably could they seem to have uh, this one's got bunks in it so possibly if you didn't have the bunk here you could um, have cupboards up the back give you more storage space it has quite a little bit of storage um, we've got all these little pockets up the back here uh, just plasticky of course everything's plastic nowadays so you got little pockets here to put things another one over there um, Got lighting control here. Um, charging sockets, which is really good. Two 12 volts, two USBs. And a clock. Probably got a, a uh, alarm in that as well. It looks like you can put the windows up and down from the bunk. That's a good touch. Just want to get a bit of airflow through without getting up. If you happen to have the uh, curtains open. or um, This one has a cooler on the roof. It's probably an aftermarket thing. Uh, not sure how they work. I think pretty powerful with those vents pointing towards you. It might get a bit cold. Um, storage up here as well. Plenty of cupboard, cupboard storage up the front. Now there's big pockets here. Another one here. Quite large. Big, uh, big uh, cupboards. Up here a lot of storage actually three of them across there uh, beds quite wide I think it's a bit wider than the bends is actually but uh, I don't know how soft they are because I didn't sleep in it um, but to me it seems okay and because of what I do I don't go sleeping it that often it doesn't uh, really matter too much to me so um, another little thing here has a little thing in case you don't fall out of bed um, everything's an easy reach more storage down here another cupboard down here uh, another one down here can't open those up because my bag's in the way storage down there another one here another compartment here put some small stuff tray up the top small tray there USB charging a couple of small pockets there as well little trays um, these things are neat just turn them you can put them in different position there's four different positions you can put them in that's the cup holders so you can put an extra one over there if you want to that's a bit of a nice touch um, good driving position, we're pretty tall. My uh, that seat actually touches the bunk like the Benzes, but uh, so if you're quite tall and like your seat back, adequate for me. But uh, if you're six foot, you might want the uh, back a little bit further. Dash is laid out really well, everything's an easy reach. Just get in the driver's seat if I can. My bag's in the way, that's why it's uh that's why it's a little bit hard. See if I can put some lights on here. Probably won't see too much. Um braking system is down here. No shifters or anything. Um the actual it's automatic of course. Um are down here. Drive reverse. Um, all your switchings here, 
radio uh, up here reasonable screen that's your uh, heating and cooling um, climate control of course being European your modern trucks they usually have Kenworth don't usually have it they may now I don't know with the new 220 coming out um, controls for the mirrors and uh, windows mirror heaters now I like this because everything's on the uh, steering wheel it's quite a good setup as well cruise control works really well easy to use uh, gauges on the dash you got fuel over here you got uh, integrated add blue and diesel fuel air pressure for your brakes just normal speedo there's a dash lights up here there's lots of information up the top you can put in you can change the information if you want to I found that out took a little while to, to work things out but I guess you got it onto digital speedo I'm gonna work a little bit better radio is fantastic speakers are really good no distortion in the speakers um, picks up really well could have good aerials on it um, what I did find is the vents just in the middle here and there's one over near the window now they work really well adequate um, a lot of trucks got a lot more where they come and down like the benzes they work really well too but um, yeah that's the uh, that's the interior of it got plenty of lighting got a little ambient lighting there I don't know how they work. I think they work the big lights, but maybe there's another switch somewhere. Um, also got lighting up here. There's a map light, and there's a large light here as well. There is two white lights up on the roof, but I can't get them to work. I was trying with that the other day. I couldn't get them to work. Maybe there's another switch somewhere. But, uh, yes, really... Uh, drives really well I do like it would I drive one all the time yes I would plenty of uh, adjustments in the seats again not enough padding being European they don't seem to put a lot of padding in their seats maybe you can upgrade the seat I'm not sure that one seems to be a little bit better actually the actual passenger seat so maybe this has been changed at one stage to a different seat but that one looks okay um, But I will show you it actually what happens when you're at night time and I sh I'll show you at night what happens to the lighting and I think it's really well done. Um, but I will do that. Um, here's some little plastic squeaks. This has done 550,000 Ks. There's some plastic squeaks. Um, which you get in a lot of trucks. I mean, the Benz has done 750,000. It doesn't squeak at all, so they're really well put together, Benzes. These, I don't know. I'm not in it long enough. If I was in it for a little bit longer, I might better get some points that I don't like. But at this stage, after driving it one night, I can't fault anything as yet. Everything's an easy reach. That's what I do like about it. Um, got your cup up here. These hold really well. They've got little rubber bits inside them. And you can take them out and get them a clean. But they really hold your... If you, especially uh, a stainless cup, it really holds it really well. So that's the interior. Oh, of course, I forgot about this. Storage beside the fridge. And it has got a quite a large fridge in it. Massive fridge in it. Um... And there is a little storage compartment down here. I don't know what it does, but it's really dirty in there. So maybe put your gloves in there, spare gloves, things like that. But uh, can stand up in it, not a problem. They don't feel real high, they're low to the ground, but uh, no, really good. I'm uh, quite impressed, but doesn't take much to impress me, I suppose. So. Uh, I'll show you tonight, show you how it lights up. Um, all these gauges light up red, and I really like that idea. It's quite a quite a nice idea. And one of the features I do like 
these all light up red easy to see easy to find see everything uh, climate control everything like that another little feature I do found out about is uh, that's a normal horn which you can actually turn on turn on and off the uh, air horns I like that idea everything's an easy reach up here all the lighting don't that might be a turbo timer up there I'm not sure uh, small UHF radio but just sort of give you uh, a bit of a rundown on one of these never driven before as I said so uh, very impressed so I'll give you a rundown on the bends I have got a video for that tell you my dislikes and likes but uh, the only thing I don't like about the MANs is the shape I don't really like the shape of them but uh, you know <laughs> it's all personal preference mirrors are uh, quite good I think the Benz ones are a little bit bigger comparing it to a Benz of course that's what I'm doing here um, I think the Benz one's a little bit larger but these are adequate they're easy to see out of uh, doors come up as you can see a little bit higher there so the window is a little bit smaller in these um, wrap around curtains pull down blinds which I do like I always like these pull down blinds pull on that and uh, I did I do like that's a better idea than the trying to do the others whether they break over time I don't know but uh, I haven't had one break even in the Volvos so definitely uh, a good truck at this stage if I drove it all the time maybe a bit different but uh, maybe someone can put in some comments whether they've driven them and what they think of them uh, only 540 horsepower that's probably a bit of a downside and I think that's the biggest motor they come in and what we need a little bit more if they get up to around the 580 to 600 it would get up hills a little bit better but for what I do it's quite adequate would I drive it over a huge distance like to Melbourne to Queensland or somewhere like that yes I would I'd probably stay in it for a week, it'd be quite comfortable. It's usually uh, most jobs now, you're only in for a week at a time, take a couple of days off. But you could quite adequately stay in it for, uh, you know, a month at a time, I guess. Uh, if you didn't have the bunk up the back, you'd probably have uh, more cupboard space, so you could put more clothing and stuff. But I, I think you could, you could do it easy. Alright guys, I'm going to hit the road very soon, so uh, I will talk to you again soon.